The extraordinary events begin on June 12, 1973, when Sister Agnes saw brilliant mysterious rays emanate suddenly from the tabernacle. The same thing happened on each of the two days that followed. On June 28, 1973, a cross-shaped wound appeared on the inside left hand of Sister Agnes. It bled profusely and caused her much pain. On July 6, Sister Agnes heard a voice coming from the statue of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the chapel where she was praying. On the same day, a few of the sisters noticed drops of blood flowing from the statue's right hand. The First Message, July 6, 1973 Pray very much for the Pope, bishops, and priests. Since your baptism, you have always prayed faithfully for them. Continue to pray very much, very much. On August 3rd, Sister Agnes received a second message. The second message, August 3rd, 1973. Many men in this world afflict the Lord. I desire souls to console Him, to soften the anger of the Heavenly Father. Prayer, penance, and courageous sacrifices can soften the Father's anger. Pray in reparation for the ingratitude and outrages of so many men. On four occasions, the act of blood flow repeated itself. The wound in the statue's hand remained until September 29th. When it disappeared, on the same day, the sisters noticed the statue had now begun to sweat. On October 13th, Sister Agnes received the final third message. The third message, October 13th, 1973. As I told you, if men do not repent and better themselves, the Father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. The only arms which will remain for you will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Each day, recite the prayers of the rosary. With the rosary, pray for the Pope, the bishops, and priests. The third message continued. The work of the devil will infiltrate even into the church in such a way that one will see cardinals opposing cardinals, bishops against bishops. The demon will be especially impeccable against souls consecrated to God. The thought of the loss of so many souls is a cause of my sadness. Two years later, on January 4th, 1975, the statue of Blessed Virgin Mary began to weep. It continued to weep at intervals for the next six years and eight months. It wept on 101 occasions. February 27th, 1978, Pope Paul VI approves the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith for proceeding in judging alleged apparitions and revelations. April 22, 1984, after eight years of investigations, Reverend John Shajiro Ito, Bishop of Niigata, Japan, authorized the apparition. Four years later, on June 20, 1988, during Bishop Ito's visit to Rome, the Sacred Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith approved the contents of the pastoral letter. Our Lady of Akita, pray for us. To receive the upcoming episodes of Marine Apparitions and more spiritual videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash AFCM Atlanta.